it's um, one of the few remaining old beach type communities that, uh, you know, uh, when I was a kid in Southern California, the whole beach was, was like Solano Beach, still is. It has pretty much stayed the same. This was the Mission Valley of the North County back in the 60s. Because everybody who went anywhere in the North County had to come here. Because this is where all the shops were on the boardwalk. The business has just slowly, you know, kind of went away from this street in the last, uh, oh, about the last four or five years. We used to do pretty, being pretty good around 1980, 81, though. There was quite a few people coming down here and everything, you know. Don't really know why they've quit coming so much. It hasn't changed. That's what happened. Nothing happened. The business moved to the shopping centers and the traffic on 101 got lighter and faster. Now, unless they're headed for the beach, most people are just passing through. And while the lack of commercialism hasn't been good for business, it's done a lot for the atmosphere. I think it's very different here because the people are a lot more relaxed. Um, it seems to be a much more kickback area. You know, lots of vacationers here, lots of surfers, and uh, people are just into relaxing a little bit more. I've had the opportunity to work in other places, and nope, this is it. This is it for me. This is what attracts most of us to Solana Beach, one of the most beautiful stretches of beaches in the county. It's what's attracted some of the people who live here. That and a little village that rarely changes. It just gets better. Staying the same is what most folks around here consider getting better. But who can argue with the quiet little beachside community? Of course, it's not always quiet. <laughs> Tonight, this is where North County comes alive at the Belly Up Tavern, Solana Beach Swings. Like Jack Horner in a corner, I don't go nowhere, what do I care? Your kisses are so worth waiting for. I come here because it's fun, 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 and it keeps me young, young, young. That's because he has a date, date, date. <laughs> From 21 to 71, this is where Solana Beach has fun, and it's been that way for a long time. This place is nothing like it used to be. This was a biker bar. The ties are real strong here. This, this belly up has been here for a long time, and it's been fun. Gonna be transformed until I get it right. Transformed. That's Solana Beach today. Becoming a city last summer is one of the biggest changes this community has ever seen. Some residents still aren't too sure whether it's good or bad. Um, if they do it right, it'll help. But so far, I don't think they're doing such a great job. I like that they slapped a big blanket moratorium on the building right away instead of trying to handle case-by-case, -case, you know, things. And they just kind of took the easy way out. I'm not saying it's bad, it's just changing, and we all have to change with it. Yeah, I'll wait and see how it goes. Well, I think that's realism probably as much as anything. I don't think any of us, even those of us that worked very hard to incorporate, knew exactly what it would mean and what would happen afterwards. I mean, my feeling during the entire incorporation effort was that people liked things the way they were. They wanted it improved, cleaned up, enhanced, beautified, that kind of thing. But they didn't want big changes in this town, and I think that that's the direction we're headed. It really is gorgeous up here on a real clear day. If you're looking to the north, you can see the point, and on, of course, Catalina and, and uh, San Clemente are out just right straight off Solana Beach. Everyone thinks they're way off Los Angeles, but they're off Solana Beach, really. Dr. Fred Brass was against incorporation. He's lived here nearly all his life and thinks things have changed too much already, but there's no place better. I'll never leave Solana Beach. I spent 39 years in the practice of medicine here. I delivered over 5,800 babies in this community and little communities north and south of here. I would never leave. The people who were raised here, and those who weren't, seem to share the same feeling, that they found a treasure in this little beachside community. And if there is any place else just as nice, they'll never see it, because they don't intend to look. Now, this is home for me. 
It's gonna be hard to leave. I doubt if I ever will. Solana Beach is, like I said, the greatest. Solana Beach is absolutely wonderful. There's nothing I don't like about Solana Beach. It's just a really nice place to live.